yes so today's concept is data types okay okay so sangamitra let's uh, start any do you have any doubt in earlier concept no uh, no doubt no doubts i was resume yes so sangamitra today we are going to learn about what data types we need to understand what exactly this data types are okay do you have any idea about what is a data type information gathering yeah usually like for example in a c language in a c language we used to denote like this right int a is equal to 10 so what is the type of this 10 a type of this 10 is what numbers numeric so that is uh, who is saying that uh, oh, what is the type of this this int because of this int we are saying we this compiler is understanding that a is of which type integer type okay integer type and uh, if if i am writing like this float float b is equal to 20.4 now we the compiler will understand that yes okay this is decimal point float we are writing understood in the same way we have string we have characters all those this all are in c language yeah but coming to python uh, in python regarding data types we need to remember three things three important things three things to remember what are those three important things let's understand first one is this all we are talking about what data types in python so first one is data types in python are what dynamic data types in python are dynamic dynamic now what is the meaning of this dynamic we'll discuss that part and second one is the size of the data type is also dynamically managed the size of the data type is also dynamically managed and the third one is data types are unbounded bounded yes yeah yeah now let's understand what is the meaning of this whenever i'm saying it is uh, data type is dynamic so we are going to discuss about the first point here now first point i am copying this one yeah so what is the meaning of this the meaning of the dynamic is same same data like for example this is a a is equal to i'm writing what 1 2 3 4 again i'm printing it print a now what i will get the output 1 2 3 4 yeah again a is equal to i'm just writing my name vivek pandey now again i'm printing it print a so what i'm getting now naam in this print what i will get vivek pandey aapka okay. naam aata hai ha ha और यहां पर a इज इक्वल टू आई एम टेकिंग व्हाट 10.99 अगेन आई एम प्रिंटिंग हियर a यस या द वन मोर थिंग आई विल टेक a इज इक्वल टू लिस्ट ऑफ मैंगो बनाना बनाना यस एंड अगेन आई एम प्रिंटिंग प्रिंट a now what is the meaning of this the meaning here is same uh, just see here the why i'm writing all this to show you that how dynamic it is now same same variable yes what is the variable name in this all same variable is a right in the a only so same variable with a 
different values different data type different data type or a different data type values yes at yeah. different point of time yes this is also this is known as what dynamic yeah so now see here at this point this is what t1 at t1 time t1 time now again here what it is t2 time t2 time now here it is what t3 time yeah t3 point of time and this is a t4 t4 time now here you just observe here same variable a is my variable name here a is variable name a is storing 1 2 3 4 again printing it again in the next in the next step it is again storing what same variable storing what string this is called a string this is a collection of uh, characters is known as what string okay so here the data type is what integer and here the data type is string and here what it is it is float float and here it is list if you if you have seen the output what you shared to me in this symbol it it is list okay yeah, so total we yeah. have given to, uh, so total we have given four different data types for a same variable so in this variable we are storing all different different data types and printing at the same time so it means what this is happening in the python but if you are going to print it in the c language again you will be getting what error error so this is called dynamic dynamic we can say that data type in the python or what dynamic understood now now let's execute this code once now here i'm taking same i'm taking uh, small a is equal to or let me copy this total control c and then control v now what i need to do here is i have written dash right for this i can do hash hash is a comment line here also hash here also hash and here also hash because it is it is no way related to any programming this is just to show that it is list that's it and here all this is hash it means comment we have commented and here also i need to comment this hash so so now let's see what is the output we are going to get yes we got it perfectly right so a this is also stored in a vivek pandey is also stored in a this decimal uh, 10.99 also stored and this list elements this also getting stored stored in a so this is called what python uh, like the data types in python are dynamic hence we have proved it yes yeah yes understood yes now we have second point so what is the second point i said the second point is the data type the size of the data type is dynamically managed what is the meaning of this uh, it can be adjusted in the memory uh, so now for example here i will explain you with the help of the paint here paint now now for example i have this small box okay okay yes or else i'm doing like this yeah now how much i can uh, store the water in this can i store um, beyond this no i we can't can't right so yeah. For example, if I'm taking this much, this is my drum. Just assume it as a drum. Now, in this, we have a water. Okay. This is water. Now, this this water I wanted to store in this. Can I store in this? 
this no we can't total we can water only... can uh, can total water will be adjusted in this no no we can only uh, for half of it. yeah um, and the rest of the water will be overflow yes yeah, this is this is what happens uh, in other languages but in python it is what dynamically managed in python what happens is if this is this much then then the container will will be of that size it will become that size understood so it means what if i am giving one spoon a spoon of water it, it will convert the size will be convert up to spoon so yeah. it is depending on the data how much data we are giving according to the data the python size the data type size is expanding okay yeah so now let's understand few points in this now let's see first point in this few points are like python starts with a initial size python starts with initial size and up to where it will go it reaches to a ram limit up to what the ram limit is there the memory this is first point python starts with the initial size and it goes where up to ram limit now the initial size can be varies like for example initial size means what size of a zero how much size so for some compile for some interpreter it is like 24 for some it is 28 so i wanted you to tell me how much for yours i will tell you the process how to do that yeah starting starting it will be 24 or 28 28 and then third one is now we need to understand how to find out the size if i wanted to check the size of a variable check the size of the variable variable what we need to do we need to use the function function that is inbuilt function inbuilt function it is inbuilt means already it is there inside the python we are not creating it inbuilt function so what is this inbuilt function it is get a size of okay get size of and this is present in this function is present in this a function is present in which module sys module sys module so these are the small points you just need to remember that's it okay okay yeah now we are going to do this practically we are going to see the size yes so what we need to do first what it has uh, told us we need to import uh, import when we are we have when we are importing the module we have to import in this way this and what i'm writing here is the function sys dot get size of so first zero size i wanted to find out okay. now let's see how much i am getting how much i got 10 24 four bytes yeah so, so starting only it is providing me so much this is what i got got here okay now i'm just copying this in this notes this is how we do the just total like uh, what is the total count 1 2 3 4 5 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so 30 digits imagine this is too big number right uh. big number it is so if you do the same big number in the 
in the java and c it will not it will give the wrong value and in the java it will give you through the error so we need to use what uh, in that it, it is accommodating what even the bigger number and also smaller number now let's see what is the output here i got what 40 bytes just 40 bytes not much so this is all uh, it is becoming big if i am giving small it becomes small the size yes yes so this is how we do this this also i'm pasting here in the notes yeah so by this we can able to find the size of the data whatever we are inserting yeah yeah hmm. now coming to this we have a third point what is the third point here data types are unbounded so what is the meaning of data types are unbounded there is no boundations no limitations yes yes yeah like for example in c or java there is limitations yes yes mm -hmm. so in c and java we do have like uh, uh, short short <laughs> short in the long in all this like uh, there is a limitation yeah Lim limitations but in python no limitation no limitations so this is the usp this is a usp of python what is the usp it is unbounded so what is usp means unique selling point it is okay this is unique thing in python that is the reason reason uh, it has a uh, like people are crazy about it and uh, many things are being done in python like a uh, bigger things like artificial intelligence machine learning yeah yeah yes automation so many many things are done on this mechanism so this is all about what theory part uh theory part in the sense it is describing about the data types in the python <coughs> now just and un let's understand how many categories we have total we have six categories there are six categories of data data types there are six categories of data types in python python let's see what are those first one is numeric numeric means what it talks about what numbers numbers yes now what are the numbers it again have six uh, six categories but again it, it has some uh, individual uh, type uh, again there is some classifications we have that we'll see later and uh, second one what is second part it is boolean Ooh. boolean it talks about what it talks about true or false So whenever you heard, whenever you hear the word like Boolean, it means what it is talking about zero or one or true or, or false. So in um, Python, basically it is more about true or false. It is talking about two conditions. This condi this is used in uh, conditions that we'll see later. Conditions. Okay. Now third one. Third one is what? Sequence. Sequence sequence data type sequence sequence type this is numeric type sequence type boolean type so, so this talks about what it is collection concept collections collections means uh, it is storing more data at one time we can store more also like it is acting as a container okay so it is uh, it is talking about what sequence yeah now fourth, uh, fourth one we have set set yeah 
My voice is breaking. Yeah. Type. Yeah. Now is it okay? Ah, okay, bye. Uh -huh. Mapping type. So this is also one of the collection we can say. It is also one of the collection. Collection. But it has unique things that we'll discuss. This is also one of the collection. And then sixth one is none type. None. None means what? It is one of the data type in Python which returns nothing in that case. Like uh, in C, we have null. That. So, total how many categories we have in data types? Six. Total six. What are those? Numeric, Boolean, Sequence, sequence. Set, Mapping yes. Type, and None Type. Yes. 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 Now, these are again divided into subcategories. Into subcategories. Subcategories. Let's see what are those subcategories. First, we'll talk about numeric. Numeric. Numeric has numeric three things, three points. First one is integer. Second one is float. Third one is complex complex yes uh. yeah now we'll discuss it in details first let me complete all the six then we'll discuss one by one what is in what is float yeah so but as of now just to remember just to understand this is numbers numeric numbers numbers and example of a number is one two comma ninety comma 81 right. all this okay yeah. float means i hope you understood what is a float dot the decimal 12.8 or 19.999 point wherever this point is coming now fractions that is what complex float. and the complex complex means a plus bj okay this is a this is the syntax of this this is the structure of it. So what we can write like five plus six J like this example it is. Okay. Yeah. Now second one is what Boolean in this Boolean uh, we have only one that is bool. Bool is present. Okay. So bool means what bool of means it will convert everything into what true or false. Third one. What is third one? Sequence. Huh, sequence. We have sequence. So in sequence, also we have a few things. First one, string. Str. String means what? You already know. Yes. Ah, uh, value. What is the string? uh it is a group of characters or it is a collection of characters like name yes uh, name yeah you, you understood yes now this is one is string means collection collection of uh, now it is okay collection of characters <laughs> it can be of any characters, but it is a collection of characters. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, second one is in the sequence. We have list already. I guess you know the list. How how the list looks? Square brackets. Iske andar kuch bhi do na. So ah. it will become a list. Oh. Isko list. 
बोलते हैं इसको लिस्ट बोलते हैं वन कामा टू कामा थ्री इसको लिस्ट बोलते हैं ओके okay? उसके बाद लिस्ट के बाद है अपने पास थर्ड वन वी हैव बाइट्स बाइट्स तो दिस टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट अरे अरे कॉन्सेप्ट and i will talk uh, about arrays in details but as of now just you understand this is also one of the collection but uh, uh, it it allows only what homogeneous in this in this list you can write it uh, like this you can write a string hi everything is possible heterogeneous but this is not heterogeneous and in this type one more we have byte array byte array byte array this also talks about what it returns a byte array ob object so what it does is it converts objects into byte array byte array object or create a empty byte array object of a specified size so as of now this is not much important just you remember that it both are dealing with arrays and uh, fifth one what is the fifth one it is tuple so tuple we have come across right have you seen the tuple in whenever uh, whenever you are coding the tuple is what round bracket with a one comma again here it is same like list only but uh, only the this yeah. circle this is round bracket yeah and also it is immutable that we'll discuss later hi again uh, 19 something this is called tuple then we have uh, sixth one sixth one is range 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 this usually we do use with the with the for loop loop will discuss this loop concept also later on but as of now just you remember these things in the sequence so in the sequence sub categories what are these string str list byte byte uh, byte and byte array tuple range yes now fourth one is set now in this set also there are two things one One is set simple set and another one is frozen set. Second one is frozen set. Now, what is the set actually? This is also one of the collection. What is the collection? It is representing in the curly brackets one comma two comma three. And one thing you need to understand that this is this set. This set is what. it removes what duplicates it don't allow duplicates yes if you are writing here you know, 2 times 3 it will give only 1 time 3 understood yeah. this is mutable means it is mutable and how about the frozen set only one thing you need to understand this is also family of set but it is immutable means we cannot change this now fifth one fifth one we have mapping mapping is having only one one thing this is having dictionary dictionary dic so what is the meaning of this dictionary the dictionary is deals with uh, pairs it it deals with what pair key and value key colon value comma key colon value example this is example i'm saying this this is example here one colon i'm giving here vivek and then two colon rajan so this type of whenever you you find these time this type of data then you can immediately you should understand that it is a dictionary it is having what key key is one is key and the vivek the value is vivek understood yeah 
yes so i guess we have done this practically uh, you have uh, in your screenshot i can see that you used this dictionary concept also i So this yeah capital N. So total, how many categories we have seen? Colon, sequence, set, mapping. So count of categories. Count of categories six, right? Yeah. Count of categories are six, and total data types are how many? Uh. Yeah, this is three. This is one. Can you count and tell me how many it is? That is what I am doing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, bro. Fourteen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is three plus one. Four. Four plus six. six. Ten. Ten. Ten plus uh, this two four. and this two. Fourteen uh, so total. Fourteen. There are fourteen data types in Python. Understood? Yeah. Yes. Python has this many data types. Yes. Now let's understand about numeric. Numeric. What do we have? Numeric. Me. What is it? Int. Hai. Float, float है, complex, और क्या? Complex है, yes. अब int, float, complex. पहले अपन पढ़ेंगे integer, int. So int पढ़ना है, तो so, we need to understand number system. Int has, like we need to, we need to understand number system. There are number system. Now. How many number systems we have? Four number system. कौन कौन सा है? सा है? Let's understand one by one. First one. First one is decimal. Decimal number system. What is the meaning of decimal number system? The base. Base is ten. बेस जो है 10 है एंड इस इसमें क्या-क्या कौन-कौन सा नंबर है वो यहां पे लिखेंगे इट विल स्टार्ट विद व्हाट 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8 9 बस 1 0 10 10 मतलब क्या ऑलरेडी 1 और 0 आ रहा ना हां सो डेसिमल मींस बेस इज 10 एंड द नंबर ऑलरेडी द नंबर इन दिस Anything example, 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 make up one, two, three, or nine, 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 or anything. Yes, yeah, Under, understood now. So, oh. decimal number system, but love base and now what 10 hai. 10 kaiko base hai, kaiko. Why 10 is a base because it is starting. From zero. zero and just you count one to nine, it is nine and zero total ten. Total number kitte hai ten ten hai na? Ah. Isliye iska base jo hai ten hai. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is the first number system. Second number system is binary. Abey binary number system kya hai? Binary number system it has base base is two. Only two because we have, I told you in earlier class also, binary means what? It is only zero and one. Uh, computer language. Zero, uh, one, uh, zero. Zero and one. Bas, zero and one. So, it's me bas yeah. do hi hai. Do values here. Zero or one. That is the reason it is what? Two base. And what are the examples we can give? The examples are. Yes. Examples. Kya kya example de sakte isko? 101, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, combination of 1 and 0, 1, 1, 0, yes, that's it. Understood? Yeah. 
ये था बाइनरी नाउ फोर्थ थर्ड वन इज वी हैव वन मोर थिंग इट इज ऑक्टल ऑक्टल ना ऑक्टल क्या है ऑक्टल ऑक्टल का बेस है बेस इज एट ऑक्टल मीन्स एट इट साउंड्स एट and why it is 8 what are the numbers it has 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 up to 7 only because 8 hai na iska base but the total count jo hai 8 hi hai yes 1 to 7 ek aur ek zero yeah so iska example dekhte hain what are the examples of this example is if i am writing like वन सेवन थ्री सिक्स ये वन सेवन थ्री सिक्स इस नंबर में है क्या है पूरे नंबर्स में वन सेवन थ्री सिक्स है ना देन इट इज व्हाट इट इज ऑक्टल ओके इफ आई एम राइटिंग हियर वन नाइन नाइन फोर ये ये वाला इसमें है क्या वन एंड फोर इज दे One and four is there, not nine. Nine is not there. So this is non-octal. The octal नहीं है. Understood? So Abba. octal में क्या? Octal में क्या आता? Zero से seven ही रहना उसमें. हाँ. अगर zero से seven से ज़्यादा आया, तो then it will go into decimal, not in octal. Abba. So if it is in uh, this range, that will be what? Octal. okay uh, so that's it you need to understand one uh, few more examples i'm giving like 1 2 0 5 bhi octal hai and uh, fourth one is hexadecimal what it is hexadecimal ha uh, base iska base jo hai 16 hai now let's see what are the numbers it has pehle to it has 0 0 to 9 जीरो टू नाइन मतलब क्या है डेसिमल डेसिमल जीरो टू नाइन डेसिमल प्लस इट आल्सो हैव प्लस ए ए टू एफ मींस ए आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग ए बी सी डी ई एफ हाँ अब कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द टोटल काउंट ऑफ दिस जीरो टू नाइन तो टेन हो गया हाँ ये इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन यस या देन दैट इज द रीजन वी कॉल इट एज व्हाट सिक्सटीन बेस इसका बेस जो है सिक्सटीन है अभी देखो इसका एग्जांपल बताता हूं द एग्जांपल इज व्हाट कैन बी एग्जांपल इट कैन बी लाइक ए ए बी वन नाइन ए बी हो सकता और इट इज लाइक टू थ्री डी एफ मतलब इसमें न्यूमरिक भी है यफ तक है ओके यस या सो दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज कॉल्ड व्हाट इट व्हाट इट इज कॉल्ड एस हेक्सा डेसिमल अंडरस्टूड फोर नंबर सिस्टम्स या परफेक्ट नाउ इन पाइथन there are predefined functions functions to convert one number system to another number system so let's see what are those we have first one is bin of kon kya hai no सेकेंड वन क्या है ऑक्ट ऑफ थर्ड वन क्या है हेक्स ऑफ हेक्स ऑफ ओके नाउ दिस बिन ऑफ व्हाट इट विल डू इट कन्वर्ट्स इट कन्वर्ट्स नंबर एनी नंबर टू बाइनरी बाइनरी में कन्वर्ट कर देता है ये क्या करता ऑक्टल में कन्वर्ट करता एनी नंबर ऑक्टल एंड व्हाट अबाउट दिस हेक्सा कन्वर्ट्स इनटू नंबर्स एंड वर्ड्स इट कन्वर्ट्स एनी नंबर टू 
उसके पहले ना आई विल टेल यू वन मोर थिंग ना फॉर बाइनरी बाइनरी के लिए क्या है ना just understand here if i am writing here in the print just a second ha uh, yes sangamitra abhi binary hai na hello bye aapko suna de raha hai mera awaaz aa raha hai ha i can listen you i can hear you हाँ Uh, you can able to see my screen, right? Yeah, now I can hear it. Ha. So, Sangamitra, I have given you one formula, right? So to convert it into binary. Yes. Have you remembered that? Like thirty-two is, sixteen is, उसके बाद eight है, उसके बाद the four है, and then two and then one, one two four eight. Sixteen, thirty-two. यहाँ पे याद था? One, zero, one. हाँ. उसके बाद क्या था? यहाँ पे क्या था? Sixty-four के बाद into two करो. One twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. उसके बाद after this two fifty-six. Yeah. उसके बाद five twelve. Yes. so as a goes on it will go on now for example if i if i'm asking you convert 7 into binary binary 7 ko binary mein convert karke batao mujhe kitna aata how much i will get so this is what formula basically it is now to convert 7 we need to check whether this 512 is participating to make 7 no Zero two fifty six. No. No. This is also no. This is no, no. This is no. No. This is no. This is no. No. This is no. Four. Yeah. Four. Four. One. Two. Yeah. One. अभी ये तीनों को ऐड करे तो ही सेवन आता ना? हाँ. तो अपना बाइनरी नंबर क्या है? अपना बाइनरी नंबर व्हाट व्हाट वी हैव द बाइनरी नंबर हियर इज सो व्हाट इज द बाइनरी नंबर फॉर सेवन वन वन ये है बाइनरी वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इट बाइनरी इनटू बाइनरी यस या कैन यू कन्वर्ट नाइनटी सेवन नाइनटी सेवन मतलब क्या है we have to add 64 plus 32 yeah plus 64 64. or 32 ko add kare to kitna hota 96 plus 1 yeah now let's see let's see uh, this is not contributing zero so a bhi nahi contribute kar raha zero this is also zero zero here also zero yeah. not zero this is 64 contributing na ha huh. नंबर लिख देना ये वाला दिस इज वॉट बाइनरी नंबर हाँ दिस इज बाइनरी नंबर फॉर वॉट This is binary binary for 97. 97 97 Now I I need to check right whether I have got the correct answer or not. Yes or no? Yes. So in this case I can use what? Bin off. Now let's see here. 
now print and i am what i am writing here bin bin of bin ke bin ke andar mein seven diya ha to seven diya to answer kitna aana mereko triple one aana na ha aaya triple one yeah and it is giving the notation like zero b it is indicating that it is a binary understood yeah and abhi main 97 deta hu 97 for 97 what i should get let's see double one one two three four four zeros double one four zeros and one hai butna double one four zeros one perfect hai na yes hello yes yeah so in this case in the same in the same way what you have to do is my homework to you is the homework homework for you learn or homework for you is convert 97 into octal and hexa theek hai na Ah, this is your homework in the next class i wanted you to uh, tell me this and i will also verify this with this okay. so mere ko answer kitna aana answer bhi bata de raha hu oct of if i am doing oct oct of kitna kiska oct hai 97 ka to kitna itna aana answer mere ko oct theek hai usko oh. isme nahi karna hai you have to do like this in this way you have to do and you have to tell me the answer how we got okay okay 97 ka octal value octal value kya hai it, it is this much okay so this you understood that answer answer you know you know question now you need to do the process manually karna hai kaise karna hai i wanted you to explore on it now hexa ka bhi answer i am showing you hex hexa hexa hex hex of हेक्स so, का आंसर जो है जीरो इंटू सिक्स एक्स दिस इज नाइनटी सेवन नाइनटी सेवन को अपन किस में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं हेक्स में कन्वर्ट हेक्सा में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं हेक्सा डेसिमल में हेक्सा डेसिमल में कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं एंड कन्वर्ट करने के बाद आंसर कितना आया जीरो इंटू सिक्स वन या सो दिस इज योर होमवर्क वट इज योर होमवर्क हाउ वी आर गेटिंग दिस ओके ओके अब होमवर्क फॉर यू इज टू कन्वर्ट दिस टू है कन्वर्ट हो गया है हाउ यू आर गेटिंग हाउ वी आर गेटिंग द आंसर प्रोसेस नॉट या द प्रोसेस फर्स्ट प्रोसेस आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट बाइनरी आई टोल्ड यू द होमवर्क फॉर यू इज इज हाउ हाउ टू हाउ टू कन्वर्ट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट कन्वर्ट किसको कन्वर्ट कर रहे हैं 97 Into octal and hexa. Yes, this is your homework. Done. Ha. Huh. Now, yes, this is the homework. That is fine. Yes, understood. Now, one more term, one more thing I will tell you here is C. Now, for example, if I am writing a, a is equal to bin of bin of what? Nine five. Again, again. Uh, okay, let me take here ninety seven, ninety seven, and then uh, B. B is equal to oct of ninety seven. Again, uh, C is equal to hex hex of ninety seven. अभी मैं इसका सम करता हूँ. Print. A plus B plus C. इसका आंसर कितना आ सकता? We are getting one. So what is this? It is giving us the same answer, right? Up to here it is same. यहाँ से यहाँ तक वो binary दिया. यहाँ से यहाँ octal दिया. Yes. So what is happening here? It is not adding. It is concatenating. Concatenation हो रहा है यहाँ पर. यहाँ पे जॉइनिंग हो रहा यस हैव टू सेपरेट इट यस यस 
लेफ्ट सेपरेटेड इट ना थोड़ा गैप आया सो दिस ऑल्सो आई एम जस्ट कॉपिंग इन योर नोट्स and one more point here is abhi for example a is equal to main 100 likh raha hoon 100 101 101 and print print of a abhi kitna aata answer 101 it is what 101 is it this 101 kya hai ye binary hai kya ha nahi bhai ha binary nahi बाइनरी नहीं ये ये बाइनरी नहीं है मतलब ये अगर बाइनरी है ना ऑब्जेक्ट वैल्यू हाँ ये बाइनरी नहीं होता ये मतलब इट इज इट इज शोन लाइक दिस अगर इसको बाइनरी बनाना है ना तो व्हाट वी नीड टू ऐड जीरो बी ओके सी हियर अगर वन जीरो वन है ना वन जीरो वन मतलब क्या है वन जीरो वन का प्रिंट करे तो सेम आ रहा वन नॉट वन ही आ रहा है यस But if I am doing like this, zero B. Now what will be the answer? Bi binary. मतलब ये अब binary बन गया. One zero one मतलब why we got five? I guess you understood. Five देखो यहाँ पर. Five. In order to get five, what are the combinations? Four plus four and one. One. So four or one. तो so five आ गया ना? हाँ. तो यहाँ पर one zero one. So in order to write anything in the binary, what we need to use? जीरो यहाँ पे देखो ऑक्टल में जीरो वो आया ना वन फोर्टी वन या सो जीरो वन फोर्टी वन मैं लिखता मैं लिख रहा हूँ एंड सी इज़ इक्वल टू हेक्सा हेक्सा को कैसे रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं जीरो तो एक्स एक्स सिक्स सेवन सिक्स वन जीरो एक्स सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी वन इस फॉर व्हाट नाइनटी सेवन राइट सो जीरो एक्स या दिस इज़ फॉर दिस इज़ octal and this is representation for what hexa 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 ye representation hai abhi apan add karenge to kya aayega answer print a plus b plus c now 101 ki iska answer kya aaya tha 5 right ha iska 5 aaya i am writing here 5 yahan par 5 hai yahan par आंसर क्या आएगा 141 को 97 है ना हां 97 आया फिर यहां पर आंसर क्या था 97, 97. मतलब यू जस्ट ऐड एंड टेल मी हाउ मच आई विल बी गेटिंग 90 plus 90 90 90 180 180 180 plus 14 199 इज इट परफेक्ट सो व्हाट वी आर गेटिंग 199. हाँ, uh, so here we need to make a note point here. ये देखो, ये कौन सा नंबर सिस्टम था? ये था बाइनरी था. ये क्या था? ऑक्टल था. ये क्या था? हेक्सा था. Yeah. All this when we are doing sum, we are getting a default. क्या है default? A number system, output number system का क्या है? Decimal number system में आया, right? Yes. Yeah, that is a note point. You need to understand. the note point here dekho yahan par note point note karne ka kya hai what we need to note here is note the addition the output the output is 199 and 199 is of which number system decimal decimal kyunki base 10 hai and 9 bhi hai so by default decimal by by default so whatever the number system we are adding here that that is getting added in the terms of what decimal number system yeah understood ha uh, bye okay
एंड यू हैव वन मोर क्वेश्चन सेकेंड होमवर्क द सेकेंड होमवर्क इज कन्वर्ट बाइनरी इंटू ऑक्टन एंड हेग्जा हेग्जा कोई भी बाइनरी एनी थिंग यू कैन टेक फाइव फाइव कन्वर्ट इट इंटू ऑक्टल एंड हेग्जा एंड कन्वर्ट ऑक्टल ऑक्टल इंटू हेग्जा कन्वर्ट हेग्जा इंटू ऑक्टल एंड देन कन्वर्ट एग्जा इंटू बाइनरी या ए ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरव्यू दे मे आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन यस कन्वर्शन एक नंबर सिस्टम से दूसरे नंबर सिस्टम में कैसे कन्वर्ट करना है या so if yeah. you are unable to then we'll we'll take one more class for this to solve this so total how many questions you got for the homework two two uh, so what are the topics we have learned in today's session we discussed about uh, data types mainly types mapping yeah but before that we have seen uh, some uh, some data types features three things three important points what are those important points data types in python are dynamic the size of the data type is dynamically managed and also unbounded yeah and after that we have seen uh, uh, six categories and then the subdivision we have seen total it is 14 data types and we are uh, we are learning still integer after that we'll go with the float and complex then we'll complete our numeric like this we need to complete all, all these things yes yes yeah so that's it for today so i'm just stopping the recording bye aaj ka video